I'm going to fill out your immunization card here. This will be your personal record to keep. And to return for your second shot, what are we using? Moderna. Moderna today. No. Uh, you want to wait? No, 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 no. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading something about that, you know, the efficiency. Mm -hmm. What did they say? Like 66, 67? Yeah, it's not really clear. Yeah. 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 And then I'll write on the reverse just a reminder of when your second appointment will be. Do I have to schedule that or? You do have to schedule it, but as soon as I click that our visit is complete, then the portal on my chart or the my UCLA Health portal will allow you to schedule that appointment. Um, we probably have someone sitting at a laptop out by the chairs. You can also help if you prefer to be able to schedule that for you. And 28 days from today will be March 10th. Okay. Um, and then, of course, if you can't make it on that Wednesday, then Thursday or Friday will also be acceptable. Okay. <laughs> Let me order your dose in the computer. How many CCs is that? It's the Moderna, it's 0.5. Oh, there's one. Not a lot of complaints about administration. A little bit of soreness later. <laughs> Maybe later on, if you're not busy, I want to ask you some some more details. Of course, concerns, you know, like everybody. <laughs> Absolutely. So, be my pleasure. Everybody will be educated. Something that you may be able to share with the rest of the world. <laughs> really important to do what you're doing. I appreciate your effort. A few moments later. So I think a lot of people, even myself, are concerned like, is this vaccine safe? Like, what do you tell the people who are getting this vaccine? Uh, a lot of times when it comes to the question of whether or not it's safe, people are concerned about the types of vaccines that use the actual virus or use parts of the virus in order to uh, trigger your immune system into creating antibodies. The technology that this vaccine uses is a little bit different. It is using a part of the DNA code of the virus as the material to educate your body. It's like a protein, right? Right. Instead of having to put any real part of the virus that might make you sick, uh, it just puts a, a copy of the code for a part of the virus's protein, like you said, into your body, which your body will get, it will expel within, say, 24 hours, probably even less. So that doesn't even stay in your body. Your body in the muscle quickly recognizes that as a foreign material, right? and it starts creating antibodies that in the future, should you come into contact with the virus, it will recognize that mm -hmm. and attack it before it can reproduce itself and make you sick. That's kind of right. Another question I'm concerned about, how about the variants? Would this be effective in other variants of the COVID? So far, so good. I haven't heard of any new variant on the virus that is resistant or evasive with these vaccinations. So that's just a matter of needing more time to understand that. 
but it's definitely effective against the ones that we've had here so far. And unfortunately, I don't believe we've had anyone who's been vaccinated knowingly come into contact with the barrier. We, there's really no way of knowing until somebody who's been vaccinated presents in a hospital with a variant of Right, and that has not happened yet. That's the best we have. <laughs> a few inches later. All right. Are you ready? I think that's More questions? No, I think we're okay. Okay, Kev, look forward to meeting you Beautiful. <laughs> Uh, it will be your deltoid. Yes. You brought your vaccination arm. How many do you do every day? How many shots do you give every day? Today we have a little bit fewer appointments, but we've been doing about uh, 1,100 a day. And I have been doing anywhere from 50 to 60 on the days that I've worked. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. So what did you say? What what's the common uh, like uh, reaction that people have in this kind of vaccine? So One eternity later. So there are, there's a couple of possibilities. So some people may have a small allergic reaction, which is rare. possible but rare. Um, as far as having symptoms, it's possible to develop flu-like symptoms because when we have symptoms of a flu, that's actually our body fighting that flu. So what we're doing is we're, in, we're intentionally trying to trigger your body into developing an immune response. And that means that you might have a mild fever, chills, some fatigue, feel tired, maybe some body ache. Things like this are the typical symptoms for an immune response. That being said, after the first shot, very few people are experiencing any symptoms whatsoever, but it's more common for people to experience symptoms after the second shot. That being said, most people are having mild symptoms. Some people have none, but that's rare. Some people feel sick for four or five days, feel like they actually got a flu. Um, most people are having very mild symptoms that last 24 to 48 hours. That's the majority of people, and that's after the second shot. So, again, there's nothing in the immunization shot itself that will make you sick. All of these symptoms are evidence of your immune system at work. That's it. And last one, last one, last thing. What, what in this vaccine? What age group is allowed to be to be to to get this dose of uh, Moderna or Pfizer? Right now, as far as I understand, mm -hmm. we are on phase one, mm -hmm. tier B, mm -hmm. which means 65 and older, or people who are at high risk with co comorbidities so sick with other things that might put them at greater risk if they were to get COVID. So we are not just vaccinating our staff members, we're also vaccinating patients now and sending out invitations to patients of ours who meet those criteria, either 65 years or older or have other illnesses that would put them at a greater risk to be more sick if they were to so contract. So you, you would you would not give you, you guys would not give uh, vaccination to, to to very ill patients, right? We would not give vaccinations to people who are actively symptomatic yeah. and ill right now. How about children? That was, that was the next thing I was going to get to as far as age is the low end. So this vaccination has only been approved by the FDA 
for 16 and older. So right now, it's not approved for anyone under 16, except for I do understand that trials have begun with 16 and under population. So once those trials are completed, if they're approved by the Food and Drug Administration, then we would be able to do that. Now. <laughs> that will that will be yeah. nice. Well, yeah, I, I want everybody to I be see. vaccinated. For me, the vaccination <laughs> means safe. That's exactly. right. All right. Thank you for all the information. Thank you, Homer. I yeah, appreciate it. People will be happy to, to know more about this vaccine. <laughs> okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Have for a coming. good day. Take care. So, did you want me to go to the front or just 15 minutes in this chair to make sure you don't have any allergic response and then you're free to go. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. 